In this subunit, I'm going to go through a detailed example of a simple genetic algorithm that evolves control programs for virtual robots. Well, our virtual robot is called Robbie. He's a very simple robot who lives in a simulated world. I described him first in my book, Complexity, A Guided Tour, and his job is to go around collecting empty soda cans. Robbie was inspired by a real robot called Herbert, which operated in the 1980s in the MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab. It went around the lab on its wheels, going into the different offices and collecting empty soda cans and taking them to the recycle bin. Herbert was the work of Jonathan Connell, a graduate student at MIT working with Rod Brooks and Peter Ning, and was a very impressive robot that used only very simple algorithms to control its behavior. Our version of Herbert is called Robbie, and he's a virtual robot who lives in this simulated world, consists of a 10 by 10 grid of squares. You can think of the squares as sort of virtual offices, and each office is either empty or it contains an empty soda can. So here's an example of a soda can. And Robbie's job is to move around this world collecting the empty soda cans. So we have to give Robbie a program that tells him what to do at each step. I could program that myself, but instead I'm going to use a genetic algorithm to evolve programs to do this task. So first I need to tell you what Robbie can see and what he can do. He's a very simple robot and he has very bad vision. So the only thing he can see are the contents of his own square and the squares to the north, south, east, and west. So his current site, north, south, east, and west. In his current state, his current office or room is empty. To the north, there's a wall. To the west, there's a wall. To the south, there's an empty square. And to the east, there's a can. So that's all he can see. He uses what he can see to decide which action to take at each time step. And he has seven possible actions. He can move to the north, move to the south, move to the east, move to the west. That's all moving one square. He can make a random move, choose a random direction to move in. He can stay where he is and do nothing, or he can try to pick up a can. And if he tries to pick up a can and there's a can there, he succeeds or he can try to pick up a can mistakenly in an empty square. And he has certain rewards and penalties that he gets for doing these things. If he picks up a can, he gets 10 points. That's a good thing to do. If he tries to pick up a can on an empty site, he gets minus one point. And if he crashes into a wall, he gets minus five points. And his overall score as he moves around is the sum of the rewards and the penalties that he gets. The goal is to use a genetic algorithm to evolve a control program that is a strategy for Robbie. So let me talk about what a strategy is. The definition I'm going to use is a set of rules that specifies an action for every possible situation, where possible situations are the inputs to Robbie, the possible inputs that he could see. So let's make a list of possible situations that Robbie could find himself in. The possible situations would be what he sees to the north, south, east, west, his current site. And a strategy would be for each possible situation, an action he would take. So here's a possible situation, maybe the simplest one. Everything is empty. He's in an empty cell and cells in all directions are empty. That's one possible situation. Here's another possible situation. Everything is empty except in his current site he has a can. And we could go on and on listing possible situations. And in a second we'll figure out how many possible situations there are. But just to make sure that you are getting all of this, let's stop for a quick quiz. The quiz has two questions. The first says, look at this situation and suppose that Robbie has a score of zero so far and he takes some actions, move east, move east, pick up can, move east, pick up can, move south. So he takes those six actions 
and you have to answer what his situation is after those six actions and what his score is. And here's uh, to remind you what the scoring process is.